So if you wanted to combine visual elements from various different images and create one unique image, that's where Blend comes in and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So before you go ahead and use Blend is first and foremost, make sure that you upload the images and then press enter. So it looks like this. So it becomes like a grid, right? And then you can begin using Blend. What you do is you go Blend and then upload your first image and your second image. So I've created a folder reference images and yeah, I've got these three images here. Let's say we wanted this and then it would look like that. Then let's say we wanted this and it will go like that. And then you click here where it says plus four more and it comes up with dimensions or you can even add more images. So this is more of a random approach what I've done. And then I'll show you later a more structured approach. Then you go uh, dimensions and you get portrait square landscape. So these shots, they're more landscape. So I'm going to go landscape and then we're just going to press enter. And that's that. That's the unstructured approach. Now, if you want to follow a more structured approach, what I like to do is I like to combine a character and a setting, right? Or a visual element. So that's the more structured way of doing it. This was random because you had both visual elements in there and you also had characters, multiple characters. So it kind of confuses mid journey. It's not as clear. So character and then like the effect or the setting. And so that's really clear. You know, we want to place this character in that setting. And then these are both again, landscape. So we do landscape and then you press enter. It's come back. And if you want to find out how you can create consistent characters, feel free to click the card and I'll show you how you can get started with the new consistent character feature. Thanks for watching.